it's Amy welcome back to my channel Amy's Creations and recently I got a nail stamping plate and it's so cute and so adorable it has so many cool designs and I can't wait to use it but in order to use the nail stamping plate you need to have a scraper and a nail stamping tool which is actually going to stamp the design from the plate to your nail and I cannot seem to find one in stores so I decided to DIY those tools using items that I already have at home so let's just get right into the video she's a Mona Lisa So guys, I'm going to be making the scraper and the stamping tool. For the scraper, you will be needing a card, sort of, which you can turn 45 degrees to scrape. I just went over the Toys R Us card since Toys R Us is banned over here, and I'm just showing you the back. And I'm not going to show you the full back because it has a barcode, so I don't want anybody to use it. But first, I'm going to go ahead and take out the sticker, and then after that, I'm going to draw my design. It can be really simple. You can just use the whole card, or you can just cut the card in half. But I wanted to do a design, so I just went with a little bumpy design, and then I went ahead and cut it that out and then filed it so the edges aren't that sharp so guys once i was done with that the card is basically done the scrapers then you can decorate it using washi tape or something but i want to take it a little bit more further so i went ahead and sanded down the whole scraper and then painted it my favorite color which is pink i just used three shades of pink including red and added one drop of each paint and then created sort of like this really pretty pink color which are not so pretty I went ahead and painted both sides. I did many layers. And once I was done with that, here's how it looked like. I went ahead and added like Mod Podge just so the paint wouldn't scrape. And so it's a little bit more better. Because if you don't add Mod Podge, it's not going to seal the paint in place. And then once I was done with that, I just went ahead and decorated both of the sides using my um, washi tape. And then I was done with the scraper. To use it, you just turn it 45 degrees and then scrape the excess paint off the plate. For the actual stamper, you will be needing a little lid which covers your full nail. And I just used the Pam spray lid which fitted perfectly. And then you'll be needing a bottle cap which fits perfectly on the lid. If this is optional, it just makes it look a little bit more like the um, stampers that I've seen on the internet. So first, you have to go ahead and cut, the, cut a little circle off the... Um, bottle cap just so it fits your little lid I just went ahead and uh, made a little uh, plus sign and then cut everything off and then after that I went ahead and sanded and smoothed out the edges just to be a little bit more easier and then once I was done with that you want to make sure that it fits really perfectly and it looks like a stamper right now you don't have to do this you can just you know skip on to the next step but I wanted to go ahead and add a little uh, details to it so I went ahead and painted it the same color that I painted my scraper it doesn't have to be the scraper but yeah and even I added Mod Podge just to cover it up and seal the paint in place and then next I went ahead and used my super glue to glue them together but you want to really make sure to be really careful because super glue does stick on your hand which is really annoying and it stays on for a long time so just make sure to you know be a little bit careful next for the filling I'm, i had these little you know styrofoam balls and this plastic so what you want to do is go, go ahead and fit the styrofoam balls in, in it in pieces and then went ahead go crumple up some um uh, plastic and then once I was done with that I just went and crumbled some more plastic added some tape on the back and stick it on top and then I'm going to take a little bit more bigger plastic and then cover the whole thing and then tie it up with the rubber band on the bottom if this makes any sense and then I went and cut the rubber band from the bottom and then taped the excess off just so the stamper would be in place and once i was done with that it looked like this i did make some changes which you guys will see later on the video but next i just went ahead and decorated with some washi tape and now here is me trying to use my products i just made You can definitely see me and my setup from the stamper because it is like a mirror. But here are the nail designs. It's usually just food, which is really pretty. And now I'm just going to test it out. So guys, the tools that I made are super pretty. But I did a change to one of them using the stamper. The stamper, instead of using the clear plastic on the top, I went ahead and added cotton, which gave me much better results. And then just did the same process again. And I am able to stamp 
um with the nail stamper really nicely i just need to have a little bit of practice so this nail stamper just come on the plate or just come on the um stamper but it doesn't go on my nail because i'm too slow and i don't really know how to do this so well and i think i'm using the wrong nail polish because the nail polish wasn't even like you know acting so nice and like i don't know it just doesn't work out how i've seen other people do it so yeah i have to focus a lot so maybe in the future i might be making some nail stamping videos tutorials or maybe like do's and don'ts or something like that so yeah i hope that you guys got inspired and tried yourself if you guys really want to so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click that the notification bell to notify every time i post a new video bye see you next time she's a mama lisa everyone's lining up to see her.